one today we'll be playing scenario one from the original Rangers of Shadowdeep book. Uh, in this you'll see Captain Chiamaka take a patrol through what he thought was a calm, safe village, only to find anything but. Let's see how his first scenario goes with his men. So as Captain Chiamaka gets his men together, we go to the special rules. Before the scenario begins, choose one figure to make a perception roll of eight. If successful, you may move one of the clue markers that is not in a house six inches directly towards that figure. We do so with the archer at the front, and he scores a solid 21 with his perception skill, moving the clue that much closer. We start the game with Captain Chiamaka taking aim at this zombie. With his shoot of plus two, he takes aim, getting an 18, making it a 20, instantly killing the zombie. Not a bad start. Now one giant rant scampers in for a fight, going for the man-at-arms, supported by the archer. The man-at-arms, however, did not need this help because he scored a natural d20 right at the beginning, killing the giant rat instantly. Another man-at-arms joins the fight, taking on another giant rat, and with the support of his companions, manages to take out the giant rat with a 17. A recruit rushes into a zombie, going straight into it, and also rolling a natural d20. So far this game, it's been an absolute slaughter against the creatures, so it may be a much shorter game than expected. We will see. Another archer takes aim at a zombie, hoping to kill it from afar only to fail that roll with an 11, and instead moves beside the man-at-arms and braces for the attack. Another eager recruit rushes into the fight, hoping to get his first kill, rolls and fails, and receives half of his hit point damage. Another archer rushes to a clue, and with a 7, finds out that there are strange tracks on the battlefield. He makes an immediate track roll of 6, to see if he can determine their nature, uh, his roll being a four, making a big fail. For end of turn, we get a red three, meaning two additional zombies arrive onto the battlefield. Captain Chiamaka charges at the beginning of turn two to help the recruit with half life left. He attacks and fails miserably in the roll, receiving instead six damage. He uses parry to deflect the damage. The zombie attacks in turn in the creature phase, succeeding again in causing six damage on Captain Chiamaka, which he halves using roll of the punches. Another zombie attacks other companions, both sides rolling a natural 20, believe it or not, and the zombie losing his life to these two companions. A man arms rushes in to help Captain Chiamaka, and with all the support given, manages a successful attack against the zombie, killing him instantly. At the same time, archers, freed from zombie attack, now rush into different areas to gather clues. A man at arm rushes in on his own to kill a zombie, and easily wipes out the zombie with a roll of 18 plus 3, making it 21. So far, this has been a very easy game for the companions, and they're feeling more and more confident in finishing the game and gathering all the necessary clues. This recruit lock picks and successfully does so with 16 entering the house. The other recruit with half damage rushes in to gather more clues in other areas. A red four is picked up for the event cards, meaning a zombie shows up adjacent to a clue. In this case, the clue inside the house that the archer is now trying to get into. Captain Chiamaka leaves the zombies to be mopped up by his companions while he positions himself for better shooting for the next turn. This is while one of the archer companions moves up to one of the houses and manages to unlock the door with a solid roll of 17. 
the zombie inside moves into the archer and immediately attacks him. But the archer successfully defends himself with a 13, dealing one damage to the zombie. The recruit with five damage rushes in to try and redeem himself, and in his attack, fails even with support, and receives five damage, knocking him out of the game. The other recruit takes a more peaceful route and goes straight to the nearest clue inside the house after lockpicking the door, rolls a 15, and in so doing discovers herbs. The other man arms looking at his fresh zombie kill decides to move towards the closest clue, needing at least one more turn to get there. Another scout moves into the clue and makes a clue roll of three, in which he discovers the body of the missing ranger, Aventine. He needs to roll a six to see if he gets the sword. He does fail, but discovers her body nonetheless. This man in arms rushes in to support the archer and take out that zombie that just recently took out their recruit. But before he can do so, the archer does a close combat attack, rolls a 16 plus two fight, and destroys that zombie. For the end of turn event, a red two is taken, which means two zombies are placed on the battlefield. In this case, they both rolled for the same edge. For the beginning of turn four, Captain Chumaka takes aim at one of these zombies, but rolls a 10, making a 12, doing nothing to the zombies with armor 12. So he moves in to brace for their coming attack. The zombies in turn move towards Captain Chumaka. The archer with the fresh zombie kill moves into the next clue and does a clue roll of four. With that, he finds a village survivor. The other man-arms moves up to the clue and rolls a two, which resolves in the body of Aventine in a re-roll on the clue table and finds instead a mutilated body. When he tries to do his survival check to determine the cause, he fails with a one. The other man-in-arms moves into the clue inside the house after their archer left it for him and rolls and discovers yet more herbs. Captain Chiamaka looks at his surroundings and after having taken all the clues and wiping out most of the victims, he looks to his beleaguered friend, the recruit. Rolling on the survival table, the recruit luckily gets a solid eight, meaning he'll recover from his wounds. Being this is my first battle report, I'm gonna call this game a day. It was a bit of a cakewalk for my guys, and I realized I'm gonna have to bring up the challenge level for the next one. Either way, I hope this is okay. Please leave any feedback uh, at the bottom. I'd really appreciate it. I know I probably got some rules wrong, but I am new to the game, and I will be trying harder for the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks.